as it happens, the construction log. I think anytime something pertinent occurs, you need it noted in the log. It doesn't have to be beautiful. It can be some spiral bound notebook and you can write in it Monday and Tuesday and skip Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and put a couple of notes in it Saturday and away you go. But every day you should commit to five to seven minutes to your superintendent or you writing in a construction log. And you might even keep one at the office and keep one on the job site. And the content should include decisions, circumstances, which subs were on the job, what was the weather like? Were there any delays? We were supposed to pour concrete, but we had a snowstorm that dropped 12 inches of snow between 8 and 5 p.m. on Monday, April 6th. One o'clock that day, I called the homeowner and told them we would not be pouring the carriage house driveway today due to snow, even though that was obvious. You're still communicating with the homeowner. It's okay that there's spilled coffee on a construction log. It's okay that you wrote things in the construction log that owner wants to add seven different sprinklers, question mark, this makes no sense. I'm gonna talk to client of my opinion on this, period. It's okay to put that stuff in the construction log. It isn't like you're writing it that they're going to enshrine it in a capsule at the Vatican. It's just something to follow the daily progress, and that six months from now, that you can go back with certainty and say, hey, this happened on such and such a date. Because believe me, two years after the fact, if you don't have a construction log, you're not gonna remember what happened to who, and therefore, whoever takes the notes, whoever has the paperwork is gonna win.